Modern spy planes have evolved, and they're not as sleek as the older ones. The big and noisy Boeing 707 has replaced the stealthy SR-71. Meet the new spy planes of the 21st century, the Airborne Early Warning and Command Force. These planes, like the Airborne Early Warning and Command Force, are essential for gathering intel on enemy movements. They can stay in the sky for more than 11 hours on a single tank and cover vast areas, making them crucial for surveillance. Despite being easily detected, these spy planes are hard to shoot down. We'll explore their shapes, sizes, and the challenges they face, including why NATO is considering alternatives. Join us on Superstructures for an in-depth look at these powerful eyes in the skies. NATO's Airborne Early Warning and Command Force includes the iconic E-3 Sentry, also known as AWACS. Built from converted Boeing 707s in the 1970s, it can fly at 614 miles per hour and reach 35,000 feet. With over 40 in service, the E-3 features a distinct rotodome, a powerful radar that tracks over 600 targets within 250 miles. Russia has its version, the A-50 mainstay, but recent events cast doubts on its functionality. On January 14, 2024, a Ukrainian Patriot missile reportedly downed a Russian A-50 over the Azov Sea, though Russia claimed it was accidental. Various large AWACS planes worldwide, like the E-7 Wedgetail, employ advanced but costly radar technology. The Royal Navy incorporates Crown West AEW helicopters, albeit their global use is limited due to size, speed, and fuel constraints. Operating for 3-5 to five hours at lower altitudes than fixed-wing counterparts, they offer reduced sensor power and range with a single crewman compared to the E-3 Sentry's 13-person coordination team. Despite advancements like phased array radars, their electronic nature compromises stealth, raising questions about the preference for these surveillance aircraft. Radar relies on line of sight, commonly placed on tall structures or high ground. Naval ships position radar at their highest point. Placing a powerful radar on a 30,000 feet airplane extends line of sight for thousands of miles, enabling detection over obstacles like mountains. These airborne radar platforms offer mobile and adaptable surveillance, allowing quick deployment to conflict zones or areas needing monitoring. The E-2 Hawkeye, part of the U.S. military's carrier airborne early warning system, ensures carrier protection with a collapsible wing design for hangar storage. The E-2 Hawkeye, tailored for maritime support, excels in escorting slow-moving ships through hostile waters. Operating at lower altitudes and speeds compared to larger AWACS planes like the E-3 Sentry or E-7 Wedgetail. Its twin propeller engines offer benefits such as slower stall speeds, increased fuel efficiency for longer missions, and a critical role in saving lives. In a near-disaster incident on March 18, 2016, the E-2 Hawkeye faced a snap arresting cable during a routine landing on the USS Eisenhower. The twin propeller's low stall speed allowed the crew to avert disaster by pitching up the airplane just in time. Defending AWACS from missile threats is a crucial challenge due to their detectability. These high-value heavy airborne assets, like the E-3 Sentry or E-7 Wedgetail, are protected at all costs. When flying near enemy territory, AWACS planes are always escorted by friendly fighter jets, ensuring they stay out of range of potential attackers. In wartime, AWACS operate within a network, coordinating with various vehicles and command centers, including infantry groups, ships, and fighter jets. Some jets focus on detecting enemy stealth airplanes or locating their air bases. This integrated defense strategy aims to neutralize threats and ensure the safety of these vital airborne assets. Modern AWACS planes may lack maneuverability, making them vulnerable to large, fast-moving missiles. However, their formidable electronic countermeasure systems, more than five times powerful than electronic warfare jets, thwart attempts at radar locking. If an enemy vehicle tries to target an AWACS, both the attacker and their missile face effective jamming. The enemy becomes highly visible on AWACS radar, allowing for swift retaliation by fighter escorts or nearby SAM turrets. AWACS carry ample chaff and flares to confuse incoming missiles. NATO is upgrading its E-3 fleet with advanced infrared countermeasure systems, including lasers. Despite these enhancements, the E-3s are set for decommissioning by 2035, marking the end of an era for these airborne sentinels. 
As we conclude this exploration into the remarkable world of AWACS planes, it's evident that these airborne guardians play a pivotal role in modern military operations. Their unmatched surveillance capabilities and strategic importance underscore their significance in safeguarding national security. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Superstructures for future updates. Until next time, fly high and stay vigilant.